This video is going over my 2017 uh, Chitali Trace Trail Redemption Hike. I say Redemption Hike because I originally started it last year. Um, I seem to have this five day curse where uh, after the first five days I rolled my ankle on the fifth day and had to come off the trail for a couple days and then I went back out and um, also during the first five days I got a couple blisters on my feet um, did not treat them properly they got infected so when I started the second uh, leg of the hike five days in those blisters got infected my feet swelled up to like three times their normal size and I had to come off trail again so I was almost at the halfway point and uh, this is the gear that I'm taking this year which drastically changed over what I took last year um, and I just wanted to go over it um, the total pack weight comes at 7.52 pounds um, and I'll go over the changes so this year I bought the Z-Pax Nero it's a brand new backpack I've had it on a couple of short hikes I haven't officially done a review on it yet I added the optional um, hip pockets and this pack comes in as weighed 392 grams without the normal foam backing pad um, let me show you what I'm talking about here so they they supply a foam pad that's where I have this Z seat at and I replaced it with a Z seat um, after watching a lot of reviews a lot of people recommended that the holes in the Z seat um, allows a little better airflow on the back I don't really see that much of a difference but I have the Z seat and uh, it's a little bit heavier than the one that they include but it's not that much heavier. Um, the Z seat as weighed comes in at 55 grams. So overall the uh, backpack is considerably less than my uh, Osprey Exos which on the first five days I took the 58 and then on the second five days I took the Osprey 38. Um, they weigh at 2.2 and 2.4 pounds respectively empty so this is considerably less um, less than a pound total weight uh, next up not really sure where to start at <laughs> might as well just go ahead and start over here so I <clears throat> Everybody knows I like the Black Diamond Z trekking poles. I've used them for several years now. Um, this year I'm going to be using the Black Diamond uh, Carbon Cork. And the reason is, is because that I switched my shelter. And it requires a trekking pole that is around 52 inches tall. But my <clears throat> Z poles were only 46 inches or so. Um... And I found that the shelter didn't work very well with those. So originally when I bought the shelter, which I'll get into in a minute, um, I just intended to use the trekking poles. And then when the trekking poles didn't work, um, I ordered a uh, pole from Z-Pax that was around 2 ounces. And I was like, you know, by the time I have my trekking poles and this 2 ounces, I'm up to the weight of the Black Diamond Carbon uh, cork poles so I'll just go ahead and use them and that's one less thing I got to carry so that's why I've got that also this year I'm using an umbrella instead of the frog togs poncho I'm still kind of on the fence about that I may switch it out because the frog togs poncho is about three ounces lighter in weight um, the other thing, the Frog Togs Poncho doesn't require you to use your hands, so you can still use both trekking poles while you have the poncho on. The downside of the poncho is that if it does rain and you put the poncho on, it also traps a lot of heat in. And since the weather is expected to be uh, 
mid to high 70s most days and a few days in the mid 80s I just can't stand the thought of wearing a poncho uh, in that kind of heat so that's why I'm going to the umbrella at least that's what I'm planning right now I'm still about seven days out from leaving my water system um, last year it was pretty dry and I had to carry a lot of water I was actually using a bladder inside the Exos which held um, two and a half liters and then both of these bottles and a lot of times I actually had the bladder full plus the two one liter bottles of water and this year it's been a, a lot wetter summer uh, they're actually calling for rain this week and then a couple days while I'm on the trail they're calling for rain so um, I'm going to be prepared to carry less water and I'm also going to kind of force myself to carry less water um, one thing I did differently so these will be my dirty water bottles they're just the standard smart water one liter bottles and then I bought this Myra bottle carrier that I clip on to the front of the Z-Pax backpack that holds 17 ounces of water that I will filter and keep as my drinking water. Uh, also having this bottle as my primary drinking water allows me to know exactly how much water I've got uh, filtered to drink. Um, I'm also going to be using the Sawyer squeeze filter. I had some troubles last year in that uh, using a garden hose washer it would try to invert itself into the bottle and so I basically put a drop of super glue on either side and I actually glued it in there and that worked a lot better um, also a change for this year is my cook system everybody knows I bragged about it I've always talked about it I've always used the how you like minimalist um, I absolutely love it last year I was thinking about going to a different system after using it for three or four years now and this year I finally went down and did it I've actually done a sort of partial review on this but um, it weighs 5.2 ounces with the stove the cook pot the spoon everything I normally take so I'll put a link up to that you can check it out I've already done a video on it for like toiletries and things I have a bag of wet wipes and some biodegradable toilet paper I keep that in the outside pocket of the backpack um, I've also got a first aid kit this first aid kit is considerably different than last year's. Um, it's I basically took everything that I took last year and threw it away. Um, I didn't use most of the stuff on there. I was ill prepared to correctly take care of blisters last year. And I've made drastic improvements to help on that this year. And basically what I've got is some body glide, uh, travel toothbrush, and toothpaste. I've got some vitamins that I take on a daily basis. I've got some lens cleaning wipes for my glasses, one for each day. Um, and then I've got some stuff that are for blister care, including a small tube of super glue wrapped with some uh, tape. Tincture of benzoin. I have two um, swab sticks. They're basically kind of in like a little glass vial. You pinch the vial, which crushes the seal, and then you apply that to the blister area. This causes tape to stick even if the tape gets wet. So, um, And then I've also got some moleskin. Because I'm taking the moleskin, I'm also going to take my Leatherman CS which has a really good pair of scissors on it and I'm also going to take the standard classic Swiss Army knife and for one reason and one reason only uh, or actually two reasons one is it has a pair of tweezers 
and it also has a toothpick that the Leatherman <clears throat> doesn't have either one of those things. So together they're like 60 grams for both of them, so it's not a big deal. I've also got a couple of spare batteries. These are actually for my uh, Polar heart rate monitor and stride sensor. Um, I've also am taking an MP3 player, which also will clip on to the backpack using nothing more than a safety pin. Uh, I do have an extra safety pin if something happens where that gets pulled off of the pack or I lose the safety pin. The safety pin will also be used uh, for blister treatment. And of course I have headphones to go with that. Last year the mosquitoes didn't matter what you did. I actually treated my clothes uh, with Picardian before I went out. Uh, it only worked for about the first day by the time you sweat so much. So this year, the only thing I'm taking is this. Um, last year, I took some of the DEET wipes um, that I pretty much always take. And in all honesty, it really didn't help. So I'm just not going to even worry about messing with the mosquitoes this year. Um, this is actually a spare lighter. I have one lighter that's in my cook kit. And this is a spare just in case I happen to lose a lighter. Um, and then this year I'm also taking a different headlamp. This is the Olight uh, H1R Nova. It's rechargeable on the trail with a battery pack. And uh, I've, I've tested this and I'm going to be out approximately 12 days this year. And it can literally go 12 days without a recharge. So pretty lightweight. Uh, moving over into the shelter system. Move some things out of the way here. Um, this is actually an anchor battery stuff sack. But I've put um, MSR mini groundhog stakes in it for the new tent setup. This is actually the top quilt. My hammock gear. 40 degree top quilt that I took last year and I put it into a Z-Pax uh, Cuban fiber stuff sack. This is the bathtub floor also made by Z-Pax Cuban fiber. Um, it goes with my Hexamid Solo Plus tarp tent which is also new for this year. Um, super lightweight. Everybody knows that once I started using the hammocks about four years ago, I said I would never go back to a tent. And uh, I decided to this year for two primary reasons. Uh, the first being that there was once or twice that while I was on the Chitali Trace Trail, I wish I had a tent instead of my hammock. Um, I can't remember the exact reason why. I just know that kind of stuck with me after I was done hiking. Stuck with me all last winter, this spring. And I started looking into lighter gear. You know, the whole reason why I used my hammock anyways was it was like 1.02 pounds. And then by the time you add the top quilt and the bottom quilt, you know, that, that was a little bit of weight. But I found out that I saved about a half a pound, um, even though the, the Hexamed Solo Plus with the bathtub floor and the stakes weighs as much as the hammock did with the whoopee slings and the Cuban fiber tarp, where I'm actually saving the weight at is that I'm not taking the bottom quilt. So um, I've also got a... Eros blow up pillow, Sea uh, to Summit. It's the ultralight regular. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about taking this because usually in the past I never use pillows, I always just use my clothing bag. Um, but you will see that my clothing bag this year is also very small, so I decided to take a pillow. And then I have the Thermo Rest Neo Air X Lite <laughs> in the small. Uh, so, 
I'm usually if I'm if I'm not in a hammock I sleep on my side and I'm a short person I'm only about five six ish so the way that I sleep on my side I kind of go into like a uh, fetal position where I bring my knees up almost like I'm sitting but I'm actually on my side and by doing that there's not really much of my lower legs that stick out off of the uh, thermo rest so what I'm going to do is use the uh, Z seat to put at the base of my uh, sleeping pad and then that will keep any of the ground moisture or cold uh, from making my feet cold um, my whole entire clothing system changed rather drastically uh, I just realized I don't have my uh, running shoes out here but um, this year last year and and really for the last three or four years I'd always use the Columbia zip off pants so they're shorts and then you can add legs to them by zipping them on they weigh you know they're not super light but they're not super heavy and i've got three or four pairs of them so it was never a problem to take you know one pair to have you know to wear during the day and then i would just take the shorts because i've already got a pair of legs <laughs> and then i would have basically a either pants or two pairs of shorts and this year I went with some Nike super lightweight running shorts. And a lot of people cut the liners out of these that hike and then wear ex officio boxers. And I'd always wore ex officio boxers too. But I found out that um, the liner that's in them actually gave me ample support and uh, air circulation. So I'm not going to take the ex officio boxers. I hope I don't have to regret that with chafing, but we'll see, and I'm not taking uh, ex officio boxers this year. I have some Ultra Gators to go with my Ultra Shoes, and I also have some Njinji, the Toe Socks. And also have a thinner pair of Njinji toe sock liners. And I never got blisters on my toes. But a lot of people say that these will definitely help. Um, and also having the liner with a heavier sock should reduce friction on my feet. And keep blisters to a minimum. Um, so I have an extra pair of the heavier socks that are in my non-worn clothing. And I am also not taking a merino wool shirt this year. Um, last year I took, I wore a merino wool shirt made by Columbia. And then I took an extra merino wool shirt. And I don't remember the weight. But either way, um, the shirt that I'm wearing this year is made by, um, it's the, and I'm not sure of the pronunciation. If I'm wrong, someone can correct me. You know, it's YouTube. Always got to pe have people correct you when you say something wrong. So, the Arcteryx Phase SL Crew. I have two of these now that I'm taking. They are much lighter than the Merino wool shirts. And, uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, most people take the Merino wool shirts and base layers and that sort of thing to help with body odor and since I only passed one other hiker besides me on the trail the bulk of the trail last year uh, who cares if I stink <laughs> um, then last year on the first half of the trail I took my camp shoes these are Vowberry flip flops I got them off of Amazon like three years ago I only wear them when I'm hiking as camp shoes or if I'm crossing a stream. They are super lightweight at around 100 grams. Um, 
they're kind of stiff so they don't bend very easy I mean they're flexible they're just not it takes a little bit of force to bend them and I think they work great for camp shoes on the second half of the trail I didn't take any camp shoes and um, you know it, it saved a little bit of weight but I think the benefits of having them were greater than not having them so I'm going to take them this year and this is basically my um, clothes that I won't be wearing inside of another z -Packs Cuban Fiber Dry Sack. It is basically a another shirt, another pair of the socks, and another pair of shorts. But also in there, I have something new for this year. All right, so I already went over the shorts. Again, another pair of Nikes. I already went over the shirt, same shirt, just a different color. And I already went over the socks. So what is different is I couldn't find the same beanie that I've been wearing, so I bought a North Face beanie. It actually weighs about 20 grams heavier than the one that I took last year. And the one that I've really used for many years, it was actually made by Old Navy. Um, but it's also much thicker. Probably going to be overkill for this time of year because it's going to be f early fall. But, um, you know, I shave my head, so having uh, some sort of protection to retain heat after the sun goes down is almost a requirement. So, there's that. And then... These are the two coolest things I think I've ever seen, ever. These are the Montbell Tachyon Interact jacket and pants. They both weigh like 1.8 ounces, so they are extremely lightweight. This is the jacket. And this jacket and the pants are both multi-purpose. They will serve as my sleep clothes, so I'm not getting body funk all over my uh, quilt. They will also serve as rain protection if it starts raining, for my legs especially, because <clears throat> if you use a, an umbrella, um, you can get splash up from rain on your legs. So if we get a heavy rain, I can put the pants on. And they also serve as another layer of insulation. Um, now, what I like about them, different than, say, the Frog Togs Poncho, is they have um, ways to, to loosen up the airflow or to, to increase the airflow. Um, but they're super lightweight, so the two, the pants and the jacket together, way lighter than a frog tog poncho and I just think it's going to be more versatile um, very strong material uh, I'll probably be doing uh, a review of these in the near future and and really everything that I haven't done an individual review on yet I'm probably going to do either re review before I leave for the hike or potentially after the hike um, so there's that. Also, a little bit different this year, I ended up buying the z Packs Bear Bag Hanging Kit. It comes with 50 foot of super lightweight uh, rope, a rock bag, and then this is actually the bag with six days of food in it that I already have set up. Um, The food that's in here though, I, I would take it out and show it to you, but although I already have it prepared in daily meals, I still have it in the like mountain house bags and before I hit the trail, I will take it out of the original bags and just put it in Ziplocs. Um, I leave them in the bag until the last minute before I leave uh, to retain freshness and then that way I don't have to also worry about moisture getting in the Ziploc bag or something like that. So. Um, the food that I'm taking has a starting weight of about 7 pounds. 
So that puts my total pack weight with food and water. Six days of food, the water I'll be carrying, all of my gear at 19.75 pounds. I'm doing a six day resupply and the food will basically be the exact same food over again. So uh, my maximum weight with food and water will be 19.75 pounds. Without food and water, 7.52 pounds. So I will put links below this for um, my gear grams list of all the gear I'm taking. Uh, I know I didn't go into details as far as like weight of each item, but it'll show that. Um, I think when I first started the trail with my food and water last year, I was at like 37 pounds on the first five days. And then on the second five days, I was around 30 pounds. So counting food and water and gear, I've shaved, you know, 10 pounds off easily. So... I'll have upcoming reviews of individual items either before or after I come off trail. Thanks for watching. Questions, comments, don't hesitate to ask below. Thanks.